Mr. Speaker, I rise in support of H.R. 4368, the Agricultural Appropriations Bill, which stands as a beacon of hope for our farmers, ranchers, and rural communities. This bill represents a balanced approach to funding necessary agencies and programs, and it also reclaims fiscal responsibility and reigns in the wasteful spending that has plagued our government for far too long. We as stewards of the American people's resources owe it to them to utilize taxpayer dollars wisely and effectively and efficiently. One of the key aspects of this bill is the redirection of billions from partisan bills that contain Democrats' priorities, such as the Inflation Reduction Act. By channeling these funds towards supporting America's producers in rural communities, we demonstrate our commitment to the heart of our nation's economy, agriculture. Additionally, we recognize the need to address the changing circumstances brought on by the end of the pandemic. The bill seeks to restrict the USDA Secretary's discretionary spending authority on unauthorized non-emergency programs. We must put an end to wasteful Washington spending and hold our government accountable for every dollar spent. It also seeks to kneecap the bureaucracy in D.C. by empowering state and county offices, by directing USDA hiring efforts to assist producers in rural communities at the grassroots level. We acknowledge the importance of local knowledge in understanding and addressing the unique challenges that they face. Moreover, the bill includes essential clawbacks of prior appropriations, rescinding funds that were allocated for radical Green New Deal initiatives and other programs that have been deemed unconstitutional. I want to remind my colleagues that the fiscal year 2024 Agriculture, Rural Development, Food and Drug Administration and Related Agencies Bill is not just about funding, but it's about values, our commitment to the American people, and our dedication to a prosperous future for this great nation. And Mr. Speaker, I rise in support of H.R. 4366, the Military, Construction, Veterans Affairs, and Related Agencies Appropriation Bill for the fiscal year 2024. This legislation reaffirms our commitment to serving those who have served us so bravely our military veterans. I've recently had the privilege of visiting the Bath, New York VA hospital in my district in Steuben County, where I witnessed firsthand the incredible dedication of the VA staff and the challenges they face daily in providing the best possible care for our nation's heroes. There are clinics across my district that act as lifelines for our veterans, offering crucial services ranging from mental health care to cancer treatment and beyond. These facilities are responsible for serving thousands of veterans and empowering them to heal, recover, and rebuild their lives. They deserve our unwavering support, especially in their darkest hours. And we can agree that caring for our veterans is not a partisan issue. I want to urge my colleagues to pass this legislation and secure the funds needed to uphold and strengthen our VA health care programs. By investing in these programs, we invest in the well-being of our veterans and their families and ensure they receive the highest standard of care that they rightfully deserve. And Mr. Speaker, I yield back. Chair, recognize.